Hello everyone, I had this on my mind this afternoon and wanted to share with you. Uh, just got a, a few verses, maybe like two, or it might be a few more. But I'm going to start off in Psalms 30. I'm going to read verse 5. And it says, For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a moment. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. Um, the the night, the way I'm looking at it right now is the coronavirus. Uh, we're in a coronavirus time, and and this night seemed long. You know, a night uh, is whatever uh, twelve hours, eight 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 hours. You get eight hours sleep, seven. Uh, but it says, but joy comes in the morning. After the end of this night that we're going through with the coronavirus. I believe there's going to be joy coming in the morning. And aren't we going to be happy when this is over? Um, I know some places, maybe like Alaska, they have some long nights uh, at some seasons of the year. But uh, there'll be joy in the morning. Uh, they're suffering in this way. And uh, we, we, have to, we have to be willing to suffer. When Paul was on the way to Damascus. That voice didn't tell him, I'm going to tell you everything that's going to go good for you, Paul. It said uh, he was going to show what things you he had to suffer. So there's some suffering in this way. Uh, I, I remember here a while back, um, I had I had radiation treatment in uh September to November, about eight and a half weeks. I had 42 treatments in uh, 2018, and then we got in 2019, and somewhere around July or something, uh, June or whatever it was, I got radiation burns, and it was the worst thing I've had, a prolonged thing. And it seemed like that that night would never end, but uh, I've been in good health since then. I've been feeling better. I was visiting until the coronavirus caught me, caught us. I was visiting a, a pretty good little bit. I love it. But anyway, I want to read Proverbs seventeen twenty two. I think it is. It said, A merry heart doth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Uh, a lot of our ailments, a lot of our problems, a lot of us being down is a stress. Uh, and it said that uh, it doth good like a medicine, a merry heart. I would hardly, I would highly recommend a merry heart. I, I worked, uh, I was training at a bank. Uh, eventually I wound up being a manager for Regents Bank for about 14 months at University of Jordan Lane. But anyway, uh, I was training as a, t I had to learn every job, uh, the teller, and then I had to learn the desk and then went on to manager. But when I was learning the teller job, there was a lady that would come in there every morning and she would uh, tell us a joke. And the next day she told a joke. And after a while, uh, the lady that was training me, she said, I guess you're wondering why she tells us a joke every day. And I said, yeah, I had thought I had wondered about that. And she said, well, her uh, she's got cancer, and her doctor told her to laugh often, laugh loud, laugh deep, and so every day she comes in here and tells us a joke, and then we tell her a joke. Well, I think it started off every day her, her son emailed her a joke, which she came and told us, and then we would tell her one, and then uh, she would tell more, and all day long that was what was happening, and... Um, I heard a man say that that five minutes of deep gut laughing was equal to 15 minutes of moderate exercise. So his theory was get up in the morning, laugh for five minutes, and go back to bed. But uh, it, it it does help you for your heart to be light and to, to uh, and I don't know how I appear on these videos, but I'm very much of a cut up. And being a minister, my wife said, Dell, I've noticed when things, uh, the more tense things get, the more you cut up. And I said, well, there's a reason for that. And she said, I'd like to know what it is. 
Because if I didn't, I mean, with people going to divorce, people uh, not coming to church, marital problems, whatever, it can get tense every now and then. So I like a, I like a good joke, a good chuckle. Uh, so it, I believe what this says, that a merry heart doth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. Uh, we need to, we need to try to brighten people's days. Uh, if you can brighten someone else's day, it is certainly brighten your day. So, uh, I, I really have enjoyed being with y'all and I love you very much. I care about y'all and, uh, I wanted to tell you to, that the night is not going to last forever. So let's look up and let's look down the road and may the good Lord bless you is my prayer.